Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering mechanics problem. A beam AB 1.7 meter long is loaded as shown in figure. You see this drawing AB length is given as 1.7 meter. Determine the reactions at A and B. What we need to find this support reactions A and support reaction B we need to find. First, we will draw free body diagram of this reaction. Second, what we will do, use three equilibrium condition to solve this problem. First, we will draw the free body diagram. Now, we will draw the line. Next, A support is hinged support. Hinged support has two reactions, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is RAX, vertical is RAY. You see the B reaction. B reaction is roller support. Roller support always vertically upward direction. Direction of force is always perpendicular to the surface. Next, we will draw vertical direction. Next, we will draw C reaction. So, C reaction is comes downward. Next, we will draw the C reaction. Next, we will go D. D is in inclined. So, we will draw inclined. We will draw the inclined force. Next, we will draw E inclined force. So, draw the inclined force. Next, we will draw lost force. That is also inclined. Now, draw the line. Next, we will draw RB. RB always vertical. This is REAX. This arrow is REY. So, this is 50 Newton, here is 60 degree, 20 Newton, here is 45 degree, 30 Newton, here is 80 degree, this hinge support, this is or B, this is 50 Newton. Now, we will resolve the inclined force. This three inclined force we will resolve, vertical and horizontal. Now, draw the line. 60 degrees here. Degree side is cos. So, 20 cos 60 degree. Here is 20 sin 60 degree. Here, draw the line. So, 45 is this side. So, this is 30 cos 45 degree. Another side is 30 sin 45 degree. You see here arrow comes down. So, down means this arrow comes this side. Here also arrow comes down, arrow comes this side. Next, we will draw here, draw the line. 80 degree comes here. So, arrow comes this side, this arrow comes this side. I will draw all the inclined force down. Arrow comes this side, comes this side, this side. Here is 20 cos 60 degree. Here is 20 sine 60 degree. Next, we will draw, draw the arrow. Here is 30 cos 45 degree. So, 45 is comes this side. 60 is comes this side. So, 30 sin 45 degree. Next, we will draw this one. Draw the line. Degree comes this side 80 degree. The arrow goes this side. So, 15 cos 80 degree. Here comes 15 sine 80 degree. This distance is 20. This distance is 40. This up to here to here distance is 70. This distance is 40. So, 1.7 meter means 170 
centimeter. Now we draw free body diagram. After that, we will use three equilibrium condition to solve this problem. First condition is summation of f of x is equal to zero. Next is summation of f of y is equal to zero. Third one is summation of moment equal to zero. First, we will take summation of f of x is equal to summation of h is equal to zero. This is resolving all the forces horizontally. So the horizontal means I'll draw and show you the graph. So this is x. Here comes y. Y is in vertical. X is in horizontal. So horizontal this arrow comes positive. Vertical above arrow goes positive. So we will take this direction is positive. Now you see this drawing. Arrow goes this side. So this side is positive right. You see here. So arrow goes this side. So positive or a x or a x. Next you see this inclined force. You see arrow goes opposite side. Opposite means minus. What comes minus 20 cos 60 degree. Next you see arrow goes this side. So you see this side is positive. So this side means plus 30 cos 45 degree. Next you see arrow goes opposite side. Opposite side is minus. Minus 50 cos 80 degree equal to 0. Next RAX minus 20 cos 60 is 10 plus 30 cos 45 degrees to 1.12 minus 15 cos 80 degrees 2.6 is equal to 0. Or A X is equal to minus 8.61 Newton. You see here or AX value is comes negative. Negative sign shows that assumed direction of or AX is wrong. So the correct direction will be opposite to the direction. So opposite to the direction means which side it comes this side. So this side is wrong. So it comes this side. Hence correct direction towards left at A. Next, resolving all the forces vertically. So vertical means summation of f of y is equal to summation of v is equal to 0. It comes upward is positive. You see the FPD drawing. First arrow goes up. Up is positive. So we will take R A Y. Next you see the vertical. Vertical the arrow goes down. Down means negative. Up only positive. If it comes down means negative. So minus 50. Next you see the vertical force. Vertical force comes down. So down is negative. So what comes? Minus 20 sine 60 degree. Next, you see here, it comes down only. The arrow comes down. So, down means minus 30 sin 45 degree. Next, you see, this arrow also comes down. Down is minus. Minus 15 sin 80 degrees. Next, we will see this vertical. This goes up. Up means positive. So, plus or B is equal to 0. Next, R A Y minus 50 minus 20 sin 60 degrees 17.32 minus 30 sin 45 degrees 21.2 minus 15 sin 80 degrees 14.77 plus R B is equal to 0. Next, R A Y minus 103.29 plus R B is equal to 0. Next, R A Y plus R B is equal to 103.29 Newton. We finished summation of f of x, summation of f of y. Which one is remaining? Summation of moment is remaining. Next, we will find summation of m is equal to 0. Now, we will take summation of m. Moment at A we will take. So, moment at A we will take always 
clockwise direction. This is clockwise direction is positive. This is anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction is negative. Now we will take clockwise direction. Moment at day always distance is zero. So it is zero. A is zero. We will take C. C from here to here draw the circle. Draw the circle. Arrow comes down right. So down means where it goes. It goes this side. This side means you see it goes this side. So this side means you see here this side goes is positive. So 50 into perpendicular distance is 20. 50 into 20. This is plus. Next you see here from here to here. From here to here is we will take only vertical. Horizontal force always 0. Y means the moment acts this side. So this force, all forces coming from here is 0. So we will take only vertical. So vertical is what? 20 sin 60. So it plus or minus. You see the arrow. Arrow comes down only. Down means draw the circle. It comes this side. So this side is clockwise. Clockwise is positive. Plus 20 sin 60 degree into distance from here to here. Here to here. The moment at A, right? So from here to here. 60. Next, we will take here. Vertical. So the arrow comes down. So from here to here, draw the circle. It comes clockwise. It comes plus. Plus 30 sine 45 degree distance. How we will find distance from here to here? So here to here is so 70 plus 40 plus 20 is 130. Next we'll see here. Vertical. Vertical comes down from here to here. Draw the circle. It comes clockwise. So clockwise is plus 15 sine 80 degree into you see from here to here. From here to here is 170. 170. Next, you see this vertical. It goes up. So from here to here, draw the circle. But the arrow goes up. So up means opposite. Opposite means anti-clockwise. It goes, this arrow goes anti-clockwise. From here to here, draw the circle. I will show you. Here to here, draw the circle. Circle means it comes down. This arrow comes this side only positive. It goes upright. This is goes upright. So this is negative anti-clockwise direction. It comes minus or B into what is the distance from here to here? Here to here is 170 into 170 equal to 0. 50 into 20 is 1000 plus 20 sine 60 is 17.32 into 60 plus 30 sine 45 is 21.2 into 130 plus 15 sine 80 is 14.77 into 170 minus 170 or B is equal to 0. 7306.1 minus 170 or B is equal to 0. R B is equal to 7306.1 divided by 170 equal to 42.97 Newton. What is R B value? R B is equal to 42.97 Newton. Now we got R B value. You see here R A Y plus R B is equal to 103.29 Newton. We will substitute RB here, or AY value we got. Now we will take here or AY equal to 103.29 minus 42.97 equal to or AY value or AY is equal to 60.32. Next, what we will find? Next, we will find R A. Reaction at A. R A is equal to root of R A X the whole square plus R A Y the whole square. 
what is REAX value 8.61 the whole square plus REAY is 60.32 the whole square root. What is REA value? REA is equal to 60.92 Newton. Next, direction of resultant force. What is the direction of resultant force formula? Tan theta is equal to REAY by REAX. What is REAY value? 60.32 divided by REAX is 8.61 equal to 7.005 tan theta. Theta is equal to 81.87 degree. You see in this question, what we need to find reactions at A and B. Reactions at A value we got, reactions at B value we got. Now we will draw FBD. You see the FBD drawing, REAX is here, REO is here. Where it comes REA and theta, I will draw and show you. REAX comes this side. R A Y. This is R A value. This theta value comes this side. Theta is equal to 81.87 degree. R A is equal to 60.92 Newton. Thanks for watching this video.